Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel and today we are going to start working on our hookah nook. If anybody watched my first video, you would have seen um, there's this kind of area in the side of my house that is just, it's just a nook. It just collected stuff and for months now, it's had a bunch of picture frames sitting on the floor. But we just started hanging the picture frames on the wall and we are clearing it out so we can make it officially our hookah nook. Now, if you don't know what hookah is, you can click somewhere up here and I'll link to my hookah video or you can find it in my playlist. Yeah, so anyway, hookah. It's this new thing, we've been really into it and so it gave us a lot of inspiration and we knew that this little nook area, which was pretty much not good for anything, is perfect for a hookah nook. So we're gonna put some bookshelves behind me um, and we're gonna make it really cozy in here and this is gonna be our new hangout spot. I am gonna start clearing this stuff out. That's kind of the first thing I gotta do. Let's see if I can find a couple things to get rid of. Mostly it's picture frames here, but I'm pretty sure I can get rid of some stuff. I feel like I always can, right? So follow along and let's start clearing this stuff out. cleared out the space, I feel pretty good about it, but I have just a couple items to show because as usual, I found some stuff that definitely just did not belong, that I don't even need. I found stuff I didn't need. What do you know? <gasps> Damn, I'm filming. Okay, so I went through a phase a little while ago where I was really into terrariums. Actually, I still kind of am into, into terrariums. All right, that's a mouthful. I'm still into terrariums, but this one in particular, I broke the top. Yeah, it still looks kind of cool. I think it's a neat thing. Um, but well, I don't know what I'm saying. The point is, is the top's gone, joy is gone. I no longer enjoy it the way that I did before. So this little piece is gonna go in the garbage. Yeah. Okay, a couple more items. This is a picture. I went, recently went through and I pulled out all the stuff that we were gonna put on our walls and um, I'm really excited to get to do up my walls because while it may not be minimal to have things on your walls, that's where I feel that I can kind of express my inner messy person. So I'm gonna do up my walls, all kinds of stuff, and then I'll have less stuff in each room. But anyway, what I'm getting at here is I have a little bit of excess when it comes to what should go on my wall. This is one of them. I bought it when I was in New York at some street sale. I don't really need it now though. Then there's these two things which are nice um, and tasteful. It's kind of back to the KonMari My Closet thing that I talked about which is just like, they're just fine. I don't really feel much when I look at them. I, they're fine. Yeah. I guess I just thought I'd also show a few items because you might have seen me clear some of them out. This is one of the items that I'm gonna keep. It has a home, it's just it was not in the home, but it's gonna go there now. This is gonna go in my vintage trailer. It's in the backyard, when it gets nice outside, I will let you guys take a tour of it. So, this will go in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out there now, and I'll show you a couple more items. This, it's a bookshelf. It sits on the floor, about four feet tall. What we have here is a fabulous, shabby, chic bookshelf. I don't need it. My whole plan here is that I'm gonna have less stuff cluttering up the floor. Things like this bookshelf, which I think are really adorable, and I've just been carting around with me, but the reality is it's not very functional. You can't even really put books on it. The shelves aren't deep enough. And we're turning this into a little library. We're gonna have books all over the back wall. So there's gonna be no reason for me to have all these little bizarre book shelves. So this bookshelf is getting donated. Last but not least, there was a box with some kind of fine china in it. I just took one look in the box. Right away, I'm just like, oh my God, more things I don't need, more things that I haven't thought about in years. Teacup, you know I love my tea. I don't need all these extra miscellaneous teacups. I think they're really pretty. That's about the extent of it. If I kept everything that was pretty, I would just be the same messy hoarder that I always have been. Somehow I feel like I always end up opening boxes and I'm just like, what are these? Saucers, I guess, that 
don't really even match. They, they don't go with anything. They're just a bunch of saucers. That's pretty much it. I pulled out quite a bit more things, but a lot of them are going up on the walls, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. Let's get going on the bookshelves. It's gonna be great. phase one complete. So it's been a few days um, kind of in the making to get to the point that we are now. Just the usual, you know, every project seems to take us just a little bit longer. You know, that's okay. It just, that's kind of our pace one day at a time. I also had a little bit of an interruption. The flu came knocking on my door. I was out for a few days, but I'm kind of back in action and I had a few things with this project that I felt like maybe I left you guys hanging on. Mostly I left myself hanging on it. I just kept staring at this um, thing that I had pulled out of this nook. Like, oh, they'll never notice. But I know that I didn't go through it. It's there, I know it's there, and I know I have to go through it. It's this. <laughs> it's just a collection of junk. And the other day, my daughter came and just started pulling all the stuff out of there. I was like, oh no, stop. Okay, this is an omen. I have to go through that stuff. So I purposely waited. I haven't gone through it yet. I figured I'd go through it right here with you guys. I guess I'll start by saying, I don't even want this thing. So this, this container I'm gonna get rid of because I already know that if I keep this container, it's just gonna get filled like it already is. So let's just talk about some of the stuff that's in there. Okay, menu from a restaurant, don't need that. This is a sparkler. I'm so glad I held on to this sparkler. This might not be very smart. Yay, sparkler. Probably really stupid, but I have this in the house. I'm gonna go walk outside. Okay, yeah, that was really stupid. Maybe it's because I'm still a little bit foggy from having the flu, but just public service announcement, don't light fireworks in the house. Now that I've just done that, a key that I don't know what it goes to. Doggy poo bags. You know what? I'm gonna put these in the car because the car is the only place that I can think of that we would really need doggy poo bags. These are all coming out of that uh, little wire container thing. These are credit cards that have expired 2014, 2016, 2000. 13, 2011. This is great. You never know when you might need an expired credit card. More kind of sentimental stuff. You know, I don't know why these pictures were sitting in there. Sometimes we just put things in the weirdest places. We're like, where will these go that isn't the floor? And we just kind of stuff them. I've got actually a box sitting here right next to me, which is full of all the sentimental items that we have. And that's the box that I keep referencing as the one that I'm gonna go through last. So every time I find a sentimental item, I'm putting it in the box. I, I know I've had a couple people tell me like, hey, you're not exactly following the KonMari method. And you're right, I'm not. I fully admit that for me, I'm doing the best I can when I did my wardrobe that was kind of following it a lot more right now I'm going room to room and so I should say I mean that's not technically KonMari technically KonMari is you go through your whole house and you pull categories not rooms the part that I am trying to stick to that is that the category of sentimental items is a category that I'm not interested in doing right now. She specifically says that same thing. She says that sentimental items are really hard to get rid of. You know, you get stuck in this like nostalgic, 
it, it's a place that's really hard to get through. I already know that I've got just like a lot of emotions and I hold on to things and I'm just gonna wait to do this stuff later. That's the point of it. So, sentimental items going in a box more keys. Obviously this was a place that I thought seemed like a good place to put keys. I have no idea what these keys go to. Throwing these away. <laughs> these are beer tent chips. I don't even know what year these are from. And then, <laughs> this is so ridiculous, a bunch of envelopes. <sighs> Coca-Cola bottle opener so you just hook it up to the wall this was gonna go on my trailer I have no excuse I'm actually just sitting here like what's my excuse for this what's my excuse I don't have an excuse it's just in this baggie and it was obviously waiting to be put in the trailer and I just never put it in the trailer it's like 12 degrees outside I guess I'm walking out to the trailer uh, kind of like a useless tool I'm just gonna throw this away and a bunch of garbage for anybody out there who like, kind of doubted maybe the amount of just stuff, junk, waste, whatever it is that I have. Case in point, the top two deodorant. I'm pretty high energy. I don't consider myself a lazy person. I almost always have so many projects going on at once, like I'm just constantly going. But I find that there's things that I just don't do and I guess it's considered lazy, I guess. Why don't I throw these things away? Why did I keep the top to a deodorant bottle? It's so weird. This is garbage. This is a problem. So I'm gonna throw this away, obviously. And I like I pretty much got it. Oh, no, oh, there's something else in here. A little hook, that's cute. I, I will keep this. I have another one that matches it somewhere around here. Okay, I have one more thing to show that came out of here that was also on my mind. It's a coat rack. I hold on to these things because I really like the idea of them. I think the idea of a coat rack is really nice. I've had this for a long time now. Either it doesn't get used at all or it gets used to like the extreme point where it's just falling over. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my little hooganook clear out. I'm gonna continue going through the house. We've actually already started working on our wall over here, which I will not show you yet, but it's really exciting. And we're getting all the pictures that were on the floor up on the wall. Uh, it's looking great. And just, you know, other projects too. We're, we're doing a lot here. So I'm gonna have more videos for you guys every Thursday. It's so weird to just ask people to subscribe and like. I feel like we almost all just kind of shut off when you're like, please subscribe, please like, but you know, whatever. If you liked it, like it. If you want to see more videos, then subscribe and I will do more videos. Thanks again and I will see you guys next time.